Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Hey guys, welcome back. I just wanted to give my take on this whole Shane Dawson pedophile deal. Um, I was watching YouTube earlier and I got a notification that he had just put out a video uh, to set rumors straight. And I'd actually just gotten done watching a video of, hi of him and this girl named Sophia that he's trying to help get into the music industry because she's really good. And... Uh, it turns out people were, you know, accusing him of being a pedophile. And I went to go search search out the video he was talking about. And I completely believe Shane. I have been watching Shane for so long. Like, maybe even before Google bought YouTube. Or right after. So probably around the time that he got big. And I've had, like, a love-hate relationship with him. So I kind of get what he means with his comedy's changed. He says his comedy's changed. And it really has changed. And it started changing around the time he came out of the closet. And he was able to, you know, really fully be himself on camera. Um, he used to have some really nasty comedy that I'm sure he's not he's not proud of. You know, he's done blackface at one point. You know? And he's apologized for that, too. Uh, but I, I kind of researched this just a little bit. And I watched, like... Mike and Actor had brought up where Onision's using this to try to get people to unsubscribe from him. And uh, I actually went and watched the actual video. There's a couple of things that strike me about this video besides the fact that they are taking things out of context. Because the clips that they show, I've actually seen quite a few of those videos and they are completely taken out of context. I am happy to say it was kind of hard for me to find this video because of all the videos coming out of people in defense of Shane Dawson so please if you haven't that's actually what made me want to put this out I think everyone should put out videos in in defense of Shane Dawson and just drown this pedophile video to the back of the search engine because that's pretty much what happened with me I had to go back to Shane's page and figure out the exact name because putting it in Shane pedophile uh, why do people think Shane is a pedophile stuff like that was not leading me to this video in the search results and I think after watching this video that it's a little more than a hater this actually might be more of a professional person who uh, is jealous that Shane found this talent in Sophia because if Shane becomes Sophia's agent then she he's he can make a percentage of what she makes and they were actually talking about that in the video he joked about he he, t he joked about uh, becoming Sophia's uh, manager in the other video from him from Shane that I watched today and I really think that that's what's going on that maybe somebody is trying to discredit him so that Sophia's family will uh, distrust him and drop him from the whole situation and then they can swoop in and be like well you know what I want to be her manager I can hook you up in the music industry and one reason I say that is they went as far as at the end of the video putting the logos of Shane Dawson's um, sponsors and people that deal with Shane Dawson like YouTube itself and Amazon and why would you do that? Why would you even think of doing that? You know, unless it's really to discredit someone and try to ruin th their success. And Shane Dawson has amazing success with very little co controversy. I mean, he's had a little bit of controversy about some of his jokes, and he's come out and publicly apologized about it, but nothing on this scale. And you have to keep in mind, absolutely no victims involved here. There is absolutely no one coming out saying, Shane did this to me, Shane Dawson did that to me, blah -de blah 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 at all whatsoever. And one of their pieces of proof was the fact that Rylan, his boyfriend Rylan, and his ex-girlfriend Lisa look like babies basically meaning they're they're pretty they're beautiful and pretty therefore they look young and they look like babies they do not look like babies they are not prepubescent I mean come on they that that is a grown-up man and that is a grown-up woman and that is a ridiculous ridiculous statement to make um, so yeah, I, I know Shane, you probably won't ever see this, but if you happen to come across it, since you do go and watch smaller YouTube channel, people 
I really hope you understand that I know you said it in your video that you're mainly making that video for your newer viewers but I hope you do fully know that the people that have watched you for years understand that you have really changed comedic immediately and that we see who you are we, we do you that that is obvious you've made it very obvious I mean you've been doing this so long that that character's kind of fallen down around you and you've really let the last the, the real you show through the last few years and I, I want you to know that myself as a viewer you know I believe it and when I told my husband he was just automatically like that's bullshit that has to be bullshit and uh so yeah he doesn't and my husband doesn't even watch you that much he, he watches Shane like over my shoulder like when I'm watching it and he's playing a video game and something Shane will say something and he'll be like well what's going on in the video and I'll tell him and we'll both laugh you know he's kind of a he's kind of a a side seat driver type watcher with Shane Dawson and he doesn't even believe this and I won't believe it I won't believe it at all unless like some victims start coming out with some real realistic stories of him doing something to them I'm not gonna believe it and uh, I'm gonna believe Shane that that he was telling these jokes and he even showed a clip of uh, the podcast that that they were talking about to show that you know they clip some stuff out they clip the stuff that lets you know that this is a joke out to make it sound like he was really supporting pedophilia when he wasn't so yeah um this is that that's my whole take on it i i see shane as actually a very completely innocent victim in this um i've already noticed that in my in my search the website metro has put out an article about it and uh, I really hope that not too many damning articles come out about it I really hope his fans band together and push this right out because this could turn into like a PewDiePie situation where um, the Times did the exact same thing to him and made a joke look like he was really supporting Nazis and you know this already happened to PewDiePie it's a great way to target big youtubers big success, successful youtubers with with different stuff is to go through and take their jokes out of context um so yeah shane we see you you're cool we still love you i still love you um i don't believe that you're you're a pedophile i think you're a person that really really wants to help and i believe this is an even more personal attack you know than it seems because for one the one thing that's really messed up about this is Shane himself in the video where he apologizes and I've seen him say it in other videos on on YouTube he was a victim of child sexual abuse you know so they're hitting a really close spot with him they're they're, they're literally shitting on an innocent man who who himself was a victim as a child and I, I noticed that in our, society, in our society, kind of like, I noticed that with our society, like, we are so about helping these child victims, but then we don't give two shits about them once they grow up. They're just on their own, you know, this bad thing happened to them, oh well, you're, you should be over it now, you're an adult. Not every adult's going to get over something like that, and who knows how much of Shane's own experience he has been able to overcome. And I'm sure this is all, this, this whole situation is just a slap in the face in the face to him when it comes to that. And not just that, I mean, if I'm right about this being some sort of thing to make him not want to help people like Sophia, that is the very so of Shane Dawson. He reaches out to smaller YouTubers and he helps people and it helps him grow as as successfully in business himself helping other people and it helps those other people grow too because when you work together you grow together right and I really hope this doesn't stop him from doing that sort of thing because that would be him giving up a piece of himself and it would be wrong on so many levels and in my eyes it's like it's almost like 
raping him of of a piece of himself by stopping him from trying to help other people because that's what Shane Dawson does and that's what I mean by this this is so much more of a deeper attack than I think a lot of people will probably realize to him you know because this is literally attacking his very so and what he's been doing in the YouTube community for a long time now uh, yeah, so that's, that's just m all my thoughts on the whole situation, um, I wanted to just speak out, I know Shane watches, watches these videos every once in a while, maybe not mine, but smaller people's videos, and if you ever see mine, I want you to know that you have not lost me, I believe you, I fully 100% believe you, there are no victims, I believe you, um, no victims have came forward, um, and I still love you as an entertainer. Uh, so yeah, that's mainly what I want to say. And I want to prompt anybody that might see this video to go make your own. And flood these rumors about Shane to, you know, to the back of the search engine. Get, get, it, get to the back of the search engine. I hope it's as hard to find for everyone else as it was for me to find to review before I did this video. So yeah, um, if there's anything you'd like to say about the whole Shane Dawson situation, leave a comment down bef below, I hope you're having a wonderful day, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, if you like me, subscribe, and hit that little bell button, so you know when I upload, and I'll see you next time. Have you ever felt Are you listening? Damn.